couldn't be more pleased. I decided that I wanted to get the slicer shredder attachment for my KitchenAid mixer. I had no idea how wonderful it was going to be. I did order it from Amazon Warehouse, so it cost me about half as much as it would have, and I'll show you what it com comes with. Comes with a coarser grater, comes with a thing sort of like a mandolin, a blade, and it comes with a fine shredder for things like Parmesan. And I wanted, originally I ordered it because I really wanted a way to be able to cut onions without crying because I just cry endlessly. So I used this blade and it seems like it kind of mashed it up, but it did the trick, but it put so much onion juice in the air that I cried anyway. The amazing thing is what it does with sweet potatoes. And I'm about to show you this because it is, this is a game changer. I love sweet potato chips and the ability to be able to do it in my own kitchen without using a mandolin. It's just wonderful. Here's my KitchenAid, and here's how easy it is. You just have your set screw, and you just put it in, tighten it up, insert, and I'll show you what this does. On the side, there's a little knob, and when you press the knob, you can pop that out, or you can just pop it in. And then there's also a food pusher, which it took me a while to find because it's in there so securely that I didn't even realize that's what it was. But I just want to show you how well this works. So I'm going to get a sweet potato. You do have to use some kind of skinny sweet potato. That's okay. All right, here goes. So that was on setting four, and that is how easy it is. I'm not at all scared to reach in there because the blades aren't on the inside, the blades are toward the outside. And then to clean it, I'll just press that button, pull it out, and of course there's a little bit stuck in it, as would be expected, but a quick rinse, and that will be clean. Uniform sizes on my sweet potatoes. That is going to be, can you imagine I can make scalloped potatoes? I can make anything now, and I am, trying to rely more on our utensils and our things like our food processor. I'm trying to use some of these mechanized things a little bit more than the hand tools just because they make things so much easier. And I will tell you that this does come, the whole slicer attachment does come in white, but I chose to get it in black because if I'm doing beets or carrots or anything like that, it will stain it. So I did choose the black one and it, the quality of it looks great. And it's kind of a matte finish so it's not going to look all spotty. And I just wanted to share that with you that if you're thinking about getting the slicer shredder attachments, they're great. They're absolutely wonderful. This is like, oh my gosh, I can't wait. Okay, I'm going to run through which blade is best for which item. The slicing blade which is the one that I used for the sweet potato the slicing blade. It says this is best for carrots, cucumber, zucchini, potatoes, cabbage, radish, celery, and onion slicer cutting. So I guess I need to go back and redo onions with this one and see how that goes. The coarse shredding blade, this one, says that it's best for cabbage, zucchini, and potatoes for shredding potatoes. Oh, hash browns. Oh, and the fine shredding blade, this is really interesting. It says it's good for root vegetables and green vegetables to be consumed raw, to shred almonds and nuts for baking or grating. Oh, this is fantastic. I didn't realize it was good for all of this. And it says the speed that you're supposed to use is either speed four or five. I've been using it on speed four. I haven't tried five yet, but I might next. The unit that I chose was the Core Fun slicer and shredder and I'll have to say it really is a lot of fun and it's kind of maybe a, a play on words. I am really thrilled with the quality of it. It is a kind of a plastic but it's a very heavy duty and the part in the back that goes into the motor drive is metal and it's well made and the release is also metal and every part of it looks 
looks really well, looks really well constructed. I was so excited to use it and I did, I've already washed it and I simply rinsed it with warm water. I didn't use any soap or anything like that on it and then we always use a miracle cloth to dry everything so it doesn't have spots. I'll leave links to everything below because I am just absolutely pleased with this shredder slicer. It took me a long time to decide which one to get. I read just dozens and dozens of reviews before I picked this one. I'm really glad I picked this one because it is definitely great. It also came with a little plasticky scrub brush which I'll, I'm sure I'll put to use because it came with it. Food Pusher has some little spots there to help grip things and it just works so well. You're going to end up processing more vegetables and eating more vegetables just because it's so much easier to do. I've got the sweet potato chips all spread out in my pans. And now I'm just going to give them a quick spray with olive oil. And then a quick dusting of sea salt. This is some really coarse salt that I picked up in the Bahamas. At one of the markets there. And then into the oven that we go. Got the oven set on 180. I might bump it up to 200. There they are. I think I'll go for 200. And I'll give it about 20 minutes. we should have some nice chips and I might have to flip them over at that point. Okay the sweet potato fries, well I should say sweet potato chips have been going for over 20 minutes so it's probably time for me to flip them over. I put this on the bottom so they could start drying out. Oh they're cute! Oh these are going to be so good. Wow look at that. Let's see if they're, they're not crunchy yet. I think I'm going to have to up the heat for a little bit longer. Okay, just pulled these out of the oven. The other tray is still in the oven, and they shrunk up a lot. But they're definitely chip-like and pretty satisfying. So I just wanted to share that with you, that this is the most amazing purchase I have made for the KitchenAid this month. I am absolutely thrilled. Couldn't be happier. Can't wait to use this one on some hard cheeses like some Parmesan. I'm not even going to test this one out today because I know it's going to work. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. I hope you start to do what I'm doing, which is to make full use of my KitchenAid and all the attachments that you can get that go with it that make cooking so much more fun and easy. We're going to be eating a lot more vegetables now. Bye.